Now, I've already talked pretty extensively this week about the fact that God is Lord. He's Lord of all. He's not just Lord over some things. He's Lord over all things. And to make a very clear, distinct understanding of the fact that God is Lord over all, today I'm going to talk to you about the fact that God is Lord over time. In fact, he created time. He established time. On the very first day of creation, God said, let there be light, and there was light. And then each day of creation, there was morning and there was evening because there was darkness and then there was light. And so as we see that, God established those days. And we see those six individual days of being morning and evening, first day, morning and evening, second day, and so on and so forth. God established, God created uh, the moon and the stars and the sun, and he put them in their proper place so that we can have times and seasons and all of these things. And so God is the one who created time. God is Lord over time. He caused the sun to rise and he causes the sun to set. He causes the, 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 the light to come during the day and the night to come during the darkness. And so he's also the one uh, that, that set forth all things as he's the creator of time. He set forth all things. He set forth nations and he, he divided the nations and he, he gave them their own individual languages and he spread them out all over the world. And he is the one that establishes those nations nations and the times of those nations. In fact, the Bible tells us that, yeah, that he established the nation of Israel and he had a reason and a purpose for that and setting it off in motion. And so when that time came and the time was fulfilled, the Bible says that God sent forth his son and because God is the one who has established the nation and God is the one who has established time. And so in the fullness of time, God sent forth his son that was born of a virgin from the nation that he created for that very purpose. So we also begin to recognize that God is not only the one who started time, God is the one who's going to bring it all to an end, all to its finality when he returns. And when he returns, all time is going to cease. And then those who know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior going to enter into eternal bliss, those who don't know Jesus Christ as their Lord and as their Savior are going to enter into eternal damnation. And so as we look at this, we recognize that as God has established time, the only reason that he hasn't returned and put time to an end yet is because he's a God of grace and it's not his will that even one should perish, but that all should come into repentance. And so he is waiting. He's waiting for that last soul to come to Jesus Christ as Lord and as Savior. But there is going to be a day, and there's going to be many, many lost people on this earth when he comes back. And that day when he comes back, all time is going to cease. So today is the day of salvation. Submit yourself to the Lord, the Lord of all, even the Lord of time, the one who began it all and the one who will end it all.